Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Nur Hafiza binti Abdul Aziz. Today, I would like to present about my final year project. It's about educational identification of animals using image classification. I'm under supervisor Puan Nur Zaidah binti Magno. Animal identification of species is an important component of the recognition and description of biodiversity. Identification has been used traditional way to determine biogenetic diagnosis given through taxonomic classification. Taxa can be accurately identified only by expert person, such as taxonomists and specialists who are trained, as it is need a special skill acquired through experience. However, the numbers of taxonomists and other identification experts are decreased. In some cases, a trained technician might use morphological keys to make routine identification. So this figure is the taxonomic skills that are relevant for animals identification classification. So this shows that the children are having difficulty on study about the identification of animals. This is because they have no identification of animal system for education usage. During schools, visual approach to learning about animals are mostly used by kids nowadays, sometimes in contrast to the traditional methods of education. By using visual approach like video, they have less opportunity which play and learn in the same time. First for research question is how to recognize the features of animals. Second, how can a system can extract animals' image? Lastly, what the system will deliver at the end of the process of image extraction? So the previous slide is about the research question. From the research question, I find the objective for this project. Firstly, to identify the features of animals using image classification. Second, to design the prototype of identification of animals using image classification. Lastly, to develop a system of identification of animals using image classification. Since this system is for preschool children, for the research scope, this system will focus on educational for preschool children and will identify the small animals and using image classification. So for research significance, by this system, we have a better education system for species identification learning. Previous system for identification of animals is e-learning. It is giving less efficient to children learn. So by using the system, children can use it learning and play in the same time. This system is easily to bring anywhere rather than e-learning system. The technique that we'll use in this system is CNN. Why CNN? This is because CNN is more effective in areas such as image recognition and classification. CNN will train a system capable of filtering image from the dataset and identifying the objects automatically. CNN is similar in architecture to the original Linux. CNN in Python. CNN will use the best value of learning rate, which will be conduct with conditions similar to this study and provide other insight during study.
there are four main operations in the CNN, which is convolutional, nonlinearity, re-LU, pooling or subsampling, and classification, fully connected layer. Here is the list of references that I have used. That's all for... Oh, my friend said thank you. That's all for today. Thank you. Assalamualaikum.